Hmm. All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to Valhelsia 3, guys. Last episode, we went ahead and completed our fission fuel guy. We got a whole bunch of fissile fuel piled up here. Uh, and then we're going to be putting that, pumping that into here very soon. We're not going to be doing that just yet. You wait, you wait. Uh, we're going to be setting up our turbine first off. Forget it. Right. All right, so down here, now this is going to be where our turbine sits. This should generate us a decent amount of power. Uh, so we're going to be building a 7x7 seven seven base. Uh, so that requires us to go up 13 because the base, I guess, is supposed to be, um, so say double the, the width or length. It uh, needs to be, I, I guess, a perfect square. And then so you double this and then minus one. So we can go up a total of 13 blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got to go up more. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting that. Uh, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, so let me clear this space out and we'll finish building that up. All right, so the casing around has been made. Just went ahead and punched that up. It's actually quite a bit taller than I originally thought it was going to be. Uh, so let's go ahead, come on up here. Guess we break this one here. We throw our rotational guy here, like so. Yes. And then we put our pressure dispersers around here. I don't know if I crafted enough of these guys. Uh, definitely didn't. Yeah, so we do need to craft a couple more of these, no problem. All right, let's finish this up. Just got the two more. Perfect. Okay, then our next step is to take these electromagnetic coils, and we will be throwing them up here. They got to be touching this guy, I guess, the rotational guy. Boom, shakalaka. Yeah. All right, then we finish by filling up the sides here with these saturating condensers. Oh, yeah. Okay, and then we just put all the turbine vents up here. Kind of had to take this out. We're just going to go ahead and cover this just for now. Eventually, we will be having a better time. All right. There we go. Check that out. That is crazy looking. Wow. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and kind of pop these corners. I'm probably going to need to turn my boots of magnetism back on. Boom, boom. I didn't do that earlier because when you, the magnetism, when it starts going ham, basically, um, it can really drain your power pretty quick. Okay, so we're going to have a total of, oh, I need to make two more. I can't count. All right, we got the last ones that we need. Oh, that worked. <gasps> Whoa! All right, guys, so the turbine is now set up. All we need to do is just get some freaking fuel into here, uh, which is the, the coolant stuff like that. And um, I just want to give a big shout out to Chaos the Terrible. Her link will be down in the description below. Uh, Chaos is the, uh, the, the one who I got the tutorial for this from. Uh, very good tutorial. Go check out the channel. Um, there, the videos over there are amazing. Uh, but let's go ahead. We're going to be working on the getting the fizzle fuel uh, going because I guess we really do well let's just go ahead and teleport up here uh, we're going to get the other side of that quantum bridge going uh, quantum bridge whatever it just sounded cool I don't know why I said it okay so here we go yep we are good perfect let's go on down here we're going to pick one of these guys oh you're dead there we go that was rough okay so let's see here uh, yes we do have Fizzle fuel du, 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 mechanism. Are you are gas? Yes, perfect. Oh, pressurized tube. There we go. Okay, so let's make you our dummy. All right. Okay, so you're gonna be here. Bang, bop, pow. But a bing boop. Okay, fizzle fuel. Okay, and then we come here. Gases. 
Output eject. <gasps> yes, that's getting filled up with fizzle fuel. Now, if we go ahead and activate this. We are generating steam. Perfect. Okay, so, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Heat is good, no damage. Perfect, okay. So now all we need to do is get that steam down to our reactor. Um, okay, we're just gonna run a cable over under the ground and see if we can get this guy just working. We're just gonna test this out, so this is what we're doing. Don't try this at home, kids. Okay, who are you? If I do that. How do you get the steam out? Give me a second. Okay guys, so we had to right click and switch this over to output coolant. Uh, I tried the fluid die, I was dumb, that didn't work. Okay, so if we go here like so, yes, this is filling up with steam, perfect. Let's go ahead down here, we are gonna run some cables. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, so it is generating some power, but we don't have enough steam to kind of do it. We're already starting to lose power. Okay, so the issue is the amount of steam that we're producing. I do have a fix for that. Let's go ahead and give it a try. All right, let's crank this guy up just a little bit. If we go here like this, it's only using one. We're gonna go up to five. Yep, there we go. This should produce more steam. Yes, and with four of these guys running, it should be plenty. All right, we got some steam going. 256,000 FE per tick. Holy crap. Um. Um, guys, I think we solved our power issue. If we get, if we get more of these running, whoa, okay. So let's see, can we just connect power up? Does it need to be here? Oh my gosh, that filled up so freaking fast. All right, so we're gonna make one more quantum guy here. And then this means we can kind of just crank everything to the max. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize that just one. Imagine when we have all of them going. We're going to be producing in the millions, guys. Oh, my goodness. Okay, then. So let's go here. What are we missing? We need two of these guys. Okay. Boom. Kaboom foam-tastic. All right, here you go. We're good. Okay. Okay. So... Hmm, there's a bit of radiation going on, but we do have a radiation shielding, so we should be okay. Um, we messed up somewhere. Where did we mess up? It didn't get too hot. How's this guy doing down here? Yeah, this guy should probably be shut off. Is your creeper full? All right, that is not how I expected that to go. So if you guys are wondering, this over here tells us our radiation, stuff like that. So with the shielding on our armor, we are pretty good. But yeah, there's a lot of radiation going on in the area. That will pretty much be there for a while. So if we come up here. Yeah, we got radiation everywhere. Hmm. Okay, so I'm not really sure as to what happened here. Um... Yeah, we still got some radiation in the area, as you can see. That's going to be here for a little bit. 
But uh, our quantum guy did go ahead and get blown up, which I'm kind of sad about. But we are still making the, the fissile fuel. Oh, geez. There's a lot more radiation going on than I thought. Okay. So let's go ahead and make up another quantum guy. I think the issue was we didn't really have anywhere for it to go, maybe. Um, shoot. Okay. We need to go. Back to the home base. Dang it. That explosion was that not very timely. Okay. So everything is okay except for that one fission reactor. Um, I'm going to go ahead and rebuild it real quick. Hopefully that helps out with something. I don't know what the issue was with that one because, I mean, I've had this guy run out of fission fuel before. This guy up here and he didn't explode. Um... And I believe, yeah, cause, I mean, he's not even active right now, but this guy's cranked up to six. And we're still getting rid of the nuclear waste. I just, I don't, I don't understand that. If you guys know what went down, go ahead and let me know down in the comment section so we can figure out what's, what happened, where I went dumb. And maybe we can make some power. But we're going to go ahead and try this again real fast. All right, so I, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and repair that area. I just go back over there actually for this. Oh, oh, wait, we need to get the quantum guy going. Um, let me see here. We'll take a half a stack of you. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead, repair everything, and we're going to try this again. Okay, so we are having this fill back up with thistle fuel. Okay, we're going to come over here. We're going to set this to do the same thing. Uh, we're obviously not going to... Be as extreme this time. Where's the room at? Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. So let's make our way over here. I'm actually kind of nervous about this because it would really suck to... I mean, it's it's not too big of a process to get all the stuff back, but it would just kind of suck. Um, I did go ahead... Make quite a few more cables here for this purpose. There we go. Oops, didn't mean to do that. All right, so we're just going to leave it at one. Let this generate some power. Yep. Okay, so that's set to export. And then maybe we give our nuclear or our polium stuff, we give that a place to go. Maybe that was the issue. Um, hold up. Let's let's actually go ahead and verify at our base what pipe we used for this. Because I really... I want to start generating power so we can start to generate more fissile fuel and get more of these processes going. It's kind of a uh, catch-22 almost. Okay. So it is pressurized piping. Okay, perfect. So new base... Let's go ahead and try this out. So this is the one we got hooked up here. We're gonna set this to output waste. We're gonna give this guy two of those. And then we're gonna see if we can get this guy to work. Oh wait, there is no, you just click it. Okay, so this guy's only at one. We're gonna leave him at that. We got the coolant, we got this. Fissile fuel, yes, water, yes. Okay. Got this here. All right, let's bump this up to two, maybe. Oh, wait a second. We're gonna do 0.5, because it was at 0.1 before. Um, okay, I don't see anything crazy going on. Temperature, heat graph. Heat capacity, 178. If this blows up, I do not know what's going on. Okay, yeah, so this is spinning. It's producing 25,000 RF. Um, yeah, 25,000 RF per tick. Storing a bunch of energy. I don't think anything's going to explode. 
which is good. We don't want anything exploding. Let's go ahead and check in on this again. Okay, maybe we just bump it up to one. So double the speed we're doing now. We're just at one. One millibucket per tick. Temp 235, stats. Kelvin. We're keeping it in Fahrenheit. Freedom Heights. Okay, waste over here is getting filled in correct. Wait, waste is over here. Yes, we got nuclear waste. Okay, so this is probably what happened. I think we filled this up maybe. I don't know. I'm not honestly sure. Okay, so now we are generating... 51,000 RF per tick. This is actually very good. Hardly doing anything at all. And we're already making more power. So I think we're at a total of like twenty or 75,000 RF per tick at this point. Uh, so that's almost enough to kind of crank these guys up to the max currently. Okay. Whew, I'm glad that that worked. All right, let's see, let's see what we got. We're gonna make a bunch of fissile fuel. So this guy is going to be maxed out. Seven, okay, how much power is that using? None. Okay, here's our limit. Let's go ahead and put the other four in there. Boom, 800 FE, that's not bad at all. So we're making quite a bit of this stuff now. Okay, this is staying pretty consistent. Okay, we're good here. Yeah, we're pretty much, this is a limit here, um, which is this guy, which is the sulfur. So the only way to upgrade this is really to add another one of these in. Hmm, I mean, there is, no, there's no space for it. Unless, nope, not with our current setup. We just have to make another one of these. Okay, that's fine by me. Okay, so guys, we had an explosion today. It was quite eventful. Uh, we will, I will go ahead and be replacing this here very shortly so we can have more than just one of these running. Uh, but anyways, guys, I will see you all in the next episode. Take care. I love your face. See you when I see you. Peace out. Bye-bye.